Hello. Okay. Our, okay. <laughs> I hope everybody's well and we're going to begin now. Uh, good evening and welcome to Tech Talks, hosted by Vision Loss Alliance of New Jersey. My name is Linda Gorder for Vision Loss Alliance, and with us tonight, we also have Elsa Zavoda. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we are welcoming and honored to have with us Marcy Duty and Brian Carver. They're with Computers for the Blind. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Computers for the Blind. Computers for the Blind started in 1995 by Robert Langford as the Texas Center for the Physically Impaired. Mr. Langford found great advantages of having a computer with accessibility technology, and he wanted to share with experiencing vision loss. He started the efforts in his home with a couple of friends. When it grew beyond that, they moved to an operation in an airline hangar, giving them room to grow. Later, the operation moved to Dallas, where they currently reside. Computers for the Blind receives donated computers and other parts, and they refurbish them. Accessibility software is then installed along with the other software that helps our, our clients navigate the computers. They have provided over 16,000 computers since they started in 1995. The mission statement of Computers for the Blind is to open the world of information technology to persons who are blind or visually impaired by providing computer equipment, software, and training. Computers for the Blind is a 503C organization that is approved as a tax exempt charitable organization. The vision of Computers for the Blind is the hope that all with a visual impairment may experience technology in a positive and productive manner. Before we move on to this evening's presentation, let's review our Zoom protocol. So we ask that you hold all of your questions until Marcy and Brian cue you. When you ask those questions, we ask that you use the raise your hand feature. For those of you who dialed in, the raise your hand feature is star nine. Star six will mute and unmute you, giving you the opportunity to ask your question. If you're using a computer, Alt-Y is the raise your hand feature. Alt-A is the mute and unmute command. If you are using a Mac, you use Option plus Y, the keyboard shortcut to raise and lower your hand, Alt plus A to mute and unmute yourself. Using the Zoom app on the iPad, move to the right top, select the more option and flick down to the raise hand feature. On the iPhone, this feature is located at the bottom of the screen on the right hand side. And now we welcome to tonight's Tech Talks, Brian Carver and, and Marcy with Computers for the Blind. Hi, y'all. It's great to be here. I'm glad to see that so many people showed up to hear about our computers. Um, thank you, Linda, for uh, such a nice introduction. Um, so as, as Linda was saying, we, we've been in business a long time doing this, and all of our computers are donated to us. Um, we then refurbish those computers and sell them at a steeply discounted price. Uh, we typically have large partners who donate computers to us such as Texas Instruments. Um, and, you know, when we get those computers, we store them. And then as people place orders, we pull computers out and we build them uh, to that person's specifications uh, going through our options. And then we, we can sell the computer. Uh, the computer comes with a one-year repair replace warranty, which, uh, you know, is a great warranty for a refurbished product. If uh, anything happens in the first year, you call us up. We'll fix it over the phone if we can, which is probably 75% of the time. Um, if we're unable to fix it over the phone, we'll have you ship it back to us by providing you with a label. And if we can repair it, we will. If we can't, we'll just replace it. Um, 
and that's for the first year. Uh, the other thing is that all of our computers come equipped with either JAWS or Zoom text or both, depending on your physical visual needs. Uh, some of us, like myself and Marcy, are totally blind, so we use JAWS. Uh, but there are people who are uh, low vision, um, who can still see, but just need things magnified. Maybe they need the colors changed to make it easier to see. Uh, all of those adjustments can be made through Zoom text. And that will be a one year license for JAWS or Zoom text. At the end of that year, you can get on Freedom Scientific's annual subscription program. I think for Zoom text, it's $85 a year, and for JAWS, it's $95 a year. Um, and if you buy, if you're renewing both, I think they give you a discount. I think it's $150 or $60, maybe somewhere around there, um, to, to keep those active and renewed. Um, now all, all of our laptops, uh, start, we have 14 inch laptops that start at $200. That includes a 120 gigabyte hard drive and eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it also includes, as I said, JAWS and Zoom text. It includes Microsoft Office Student Home Edition, which includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Uh, it does not include Outlook. If you wish to have Outlook, you can certainly purchase that after you buy our computer and install it, you know, you know get it installed. Um, and it, it has Windows 10 Professional, which is the latest version of Windows 10 uh, that's installed on there. Um, it also comes with uh, Bard Express for downloading and listening to talking books from the Talking Book Library. Uh, comes with Adobe Acrobat for reading PDF documents. Um, also, we sell desktops, and our desktops start at $145. Be $160 if you need Wi-Fi. Most people do to connect to the internet these days, but you can connect our computers with Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable. Um, but you will need to, on the desktop, pay an extra $15 for Wi-Fi capability. Um, the desktop comes with all the same specifications as the laptop. Uh, the difference being, of course, that there is a USB keyboard and mouse that comes with the desktop instead of the keyboard being built in, like on the laptop. And the screen on the laptop is 14 inches, but our desktops come with a, 20, a 19 to 21 inch monitor, depending on what we have available at the time. And then you can upgrade that to a 24 inch monitor uh, for an additional cost. You can also upgrade the hard drive and the RAM for additional cost on the laptop or the hard drive on the desktop. And we have the other accessories like we have a wireless keyboard and mouse. We have a headset, a wired headset. Uh, we have an ethernet cable. If you decide you want to connect that way, but you don't have the cable, you can purchase one of those. So there are some additional things that could increase the price. Now, Marcy will go ahead and tell you about some of the specials that we have going on um, that will uh, give you a lower price than that 200 for a laptop or 145 for a desktop. So currently we have a funder who has been really good to the laptop purchasers. So what he's telling us or what they are saying to us is if a person has social security of any type, SSA, SSI, SSD, if they are a student or if they are a veteran or the spouse of a veteran and they're purchasing a laptop from us, currently if you show documentation, you can get $150 off of that laptop's price. So as Brian said, our laptops start at $200. If you can present the proper documentation, you can get that laptop for $50. Um, other things that I wanted to mention are that we do put the JAWS training bundle from Freedom Scientific that they put out, I think maybe 2018, 2019, and other training files and tutorials. We also, of course, put the, Windows, the Microsoft Edge web browser because that's part of Windows 10, but we put the Mozilla Firefox web browser on the computers if anybody needs to use Mozilla Firefox or would like to use. 
If you want to use other web browsers like Chrome or Brave or other web browsers, you can absolutely install them because once the computer is purchased, it, it is absolutely your computer. We're happy to provide technical support by you giving us a call. You have a one year warranty on the computer, just as he said. We can most likely remote into the computer or you can um, send it to us for repair or replace within the first year. So those are the discounts that we have on the computers. If if you can provide documentation showing that you receive social security of any type, if you are a veteran, the spouse of a veteran or a student, even a student of the blind rehab centers, then we would um, take that documentation and provide that $150 off those laptops. The highest laptop that we offer contains 16 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte solid state hard drive, like all of the rest of our drives are solid state. And that is $450 regular price. With the discount, you could get that computer for $300. What did I miss, Brian? Uh, no, I think you covered it good. If you want to share a little bit about uh, the training classes that you and Steven are doing, that would be would be great. I'm sure a lot of these people could probably benefit from our training class uh, if they purchase one of our computers. So the training class does come with our computers and we designed it for people who are just losing their sight and are beginning to lose, I mean, beginning to use JAWS. We've got six modules in the class. And as he said, it comes with the computer. We take you from the beginning of using JAWS and Windows to actually using Windows Mail and sending and receiving email getting on the internet, doing things like that. Um, we introduce you to the parts of the Windows environment. We show you how to copy, cut, and paste. We do different things like that. And that six weeks you meet with us over Zoom and there's no cost for the classes. They come with purchasing the computers. And I think uh, I think that pretty much covers the way our program works. Um, you know, uh, we've been doing this a long time. We're very small. Uh, we do c count on donations. Um, all the computers are donated to us. Uh, we have folks who donate money to us. And that's what enables us to keep up and running uh, and providing these computers at such a low price. As Marcy said, a, a one terabyte laptop with 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, with a one-year warranty on it for $300 is unbelievable. So um, so it, we will be happy to open it up for questions at this point. If anybody has any questions, would like to discuss anything we've talked about so far for clarification, uh, we're, walk, we're happy to do that. I just wanted to say that there are four steps to our process, and Brian just added another Asian to my steps. So the first step is an application. We absolutely need your data. We want to know where we're sending the computer, the kind of computer you want. In other words, which configuration you're selecting from our, from our wide variety of configurations. So application is first. Then we need your documentation. If purchasing a desktop, we just need proof of your visual disability. If you meet the grant qualifications, oh my goodness. <laughs> so the next thing is documentation. So we need your application, we need your documents. Then we take your payment, which I called compensation, and then transportation. We ship the computer to you. We ship all of our computers free matter for the blind. So there's no charge for shipping. The states that pay tax are Wisconsin and Texas. So you guys are in New Jersey, so you're safe. No tax. <laughs> no taxation. <laughs> That's wonderful. Does anyone have any questions? How about North Carolinians? No tax in North Carolina either, just Texas and Wisconsin. Okay. Is there a website? There is. That website is computers for the blind.org. And on our website, you will be able to fill out your application if you wish to do that. You can also see the entire price list, which shows all of the configurations Marcy mentioned, as well as uh, the prices for the various accessories that we sell in addition to the computers. Um, so there's a lot of information on the website uh, that will will help you. And you can find out more about JAWS and Zoom text from Freedom Scientific if you're unfamiliar with them. 
uh, that's freedomscientific.com. And uh, they're the makers of JAWS and Zoom text. And Elsa, I'm glad to send you everything that we have, our price sheet and the four steps so that you can distribute it if you need to. Perfect. Please do. Please send it to Elsa. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we have a... I'm sorry. Let me put oh. my hand up. I'll put my hand up. Well, go ahead, Michelle. You start. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to ask a question, but I... I I was just speaking out and, and I came in, I got in kind of late. Um, you may have already said this, where, the, where do the computers come from? In other okay. words, are they, are they totally refurbished computers or are they computers that some may have been shipped to someone yeah. and they just didn't want to keep? No. Um, so yeah, all of our computers okay. are donated to us. <laughs> Most of them, the majority of them come from large organizations like uh, Texas mm -hmm. Instruments. I believe General mm -hmm. Motors uh, is another one. Uh, so when they get, when their employees are getting new computers, uh -huh. um, they typically donate their older computers to us. Uh -huh. uh, we then refurbish them completely. We put in new hard drives and uh, make sure everything's functioning properly. Uh, and then we 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 sell them. So yeah, they're they're all refurbished. We don't have any new ones. And uh, we also do get occasional donations of computers from individuals. You know, people. Uh, if anybody's interested in donating either equipment or monetarily, uh, on our website is a donate link. And if you click that, you'll you'll find out the procedure for donating hardware or. Uh, or you know monetary donations or if you live in texas or know people live in texas they also uh, people donate by volunteering their time um so uh so yeah uh, i hope that answered your question we have two questions uh vincent you go next please uh, yes, I, my question is uh, concerning uh, 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 software uh, like antivirus and uh, also uh, base for the laptops. So great would question. Would that be available? Would that be available great. through uh, so, uh, through your organization for an extra charge, or do we so have to do it on the phone? Currently, we put no virus protection on the computers because we rely on Windows Defender. Since they will be your computers, of course, you can put any virus protection that you feel necessary to put on those computers. As far as cases, if we had cases, we'd have to pick a different case for every person that bought a computer because Ooh. cases are so personalized. So we leave, leave that in your hands. We Ooh. provide the laptop and we provide the charger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vincent. Suzanne, you are up next. Hi, Hannah, I'm you. Um, I was, when you said JAWS and, and Zoom text, are you saying that um, there's Fusion also? No, so JAWS and Zoom text, or Fusion, I, I should say, is, yeah. JAWS and, is JAWS and Zoom text. Okay. Right. The so, only difference is that they put it all in one installer. So it installs right. both at the same time. You can launch both at the same time, or you can launch them individually. We put JAWS and Zoom text, which is exactly the same. The only difference is mm -hmm. they're installed separately and they're launched separately if you wish to run them together. Okay, so you don't you don't have them together as fusion. Not we do not have fusion. We have JAWS okay. and Zoom text, which is exactly the same thing. The only difference is there's they're installed separately and launched separately. Uh, when you go, if you get JAWS and Zoom text on your computer from Computers for the Blind, at the end of your first year when it's time to renew and you go to renew with Freedom Scientific uh, to get on their subscription program, uh, they will sell you Fusion uh, at that time uh, because okay. you're a JAWS and Zoom text user. Um, okay. Yeah. So can you, you you can run Zoom text and, and JAWS at the same time? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're they're developed okay. by the same company and uh, they're made to work together. Right. Um, and like I said, Fusion is honestly, as I said, I worked at Freedom Scientific Tech Support for 22 years, and the only difference is the installer. 
right? So if you want, you know, and price. I mean, if you buy JAWS and ZoomText separately, it's more expensive than buying Fusion. So right. there are two differences. But uh, that's why when you go to renew at the end of your first year, they'll sell you Fusion if that's what you want, because it'll be less expensive than yeah. buying JAWS and ZoomText. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. So we have. Is... Oh, go ahead. Uh, this is uh, go ahead. Do you want to finish that thought? Go ahead. Marcy. I was going to say we have been told by our technical support that that Zoom Text and Jaws work very well on the eight gigabytes of RAM that we provide. But my recommendation is if it can be done for you to upgrade to the sixteen gigabytes of RAM because I know that that's what FS is going to require when you update or when you install Fusion on that computer. Do you not provide any Mac computers? Right now, no. Right now, we are we are we are hoping we we got we've got some good connections in the Mac environment, so we're hoping that that will be a thing of the future. But right now, yeah. it's just Windows. I'd this like you to be doing that actually, just for the training alone. That was a nice thought. Yeah, <laughs> like to purchase just for the training alone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a question on that note. This is Linda. Um, I have two questions actually. My first question is when you do your class, your course and your training, do you require that people know, um, have proficient typing skills? We would like that, but we know that that's not always the case. So with our class, we are working with David Pinto of Yes Accessible, and we have the opportunity to provide typeability to the students who take our class. Okay, that's from Perkins type ability. It's uh, no, it's from, yes, from yes, accessible. yes Accessible. David Pinto out in California. It's from Yes Accessible. That's the name oh, of the yes company. Accessible. Yes Accessible. Oh, okay. Yes Accessible. Okay, type ability. And, and my, it works, it works well, with JAWS actually, and it teaches both my questions. Yeah, it works with JAWS and it teaches some JAWS commands, which is why we recommend that program. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Okay. okay. Yes, accept. Yes, can that be put in the, the notes company. that are sent out, Elsa? Sure. Yes, absolutely. I, I well, this is Linda. I'll make sure Elsa gets. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Suzanne. He, my, I'm you, you are unmuted. Go ahead. Ask your, yep. Unmute. You were unmuted. Now you're muted. There Hello. You go. Okay. Hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that type ability um, is that free, or you have to buy that? So that app. So if you're taking training, if you get into one of our training classes, we have been providing it to our students. Okay. Um, if you want to purchase it, yes, accessible. I think. I mean, type ability is fun with type ability. I think is like a hundred dollars or hundred and fifty dollars, something yeah. between a hundred and hundred fifty. But okay. when you purchase one of our computers, if you want the Typeo, uh, which is similar to Typeability, um, then uh, you, that's twenty dollars extra on top of the cost of the computer. computer so if somebody yeah, buys if need it, a typing program. Yeah, if they just yeah. need a typing program, we can sell it to them for twenty dollars. So, well, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely better than a hundred. Does, does that <laughs> just the twenty dollar? Uh, typing does that go into JAWS commands and no. keyboard? No, that is Typeo. No. That's put out yeah. by a company called Accessibyte. Okay, that's kind of just like a talking typer type of exactly, program. exactly. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, you kind of get what you pay for sometimes if you're yeah. going to get all of the other pieces in the yes accessible the typeability. Yeah. Suzanne, you have another question? Me? Do no. you have any touchscreen oh. computers? Oh. We do. Mm -hmm. We have a touchscreen upgrade. So if you purchase the laptop, the touchscreen is one of the upgrades and it's $50 to go on top of uh, the laptop price. Uh, oh. That's on the PC, you said? It's on the laptops, only on the okay. laptops. Okay. And they're 14 inch <clears throat> laptops. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? 
Well, we must have done a good job. Nobody has questions. I think you must have. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, typically, how old are these computers? Well, uh, they vary in uh, you know in age. Uh, I, I can tell you that they're you know they're modern computers, um, but we you know there's no definite date. Like we don't say we only take computers you know five years old or three years old. We we take whatever's donated, and they they range you know between you know a few years, uh, five years, just depends on the computer. But starting last year, we started to be more strict on our, our donations and not just started taking anything. Right. So they do have to meet specific specifications to guarantee yeah. that they'll perform well for, for you as customers. Yeah. For example, all of our computers come with at least three USB ports. So if somebody wanted to donate a computer that didn't have that, they probably wouldn't take it. Those kinds of things. So. Um, and a lot of the processors that I've seen go out to customers have been i5. i5 or better. Yeah, and I think our requirement is at least I3. Mm -hmm. But as Marcy said, I think the majority that have been going out these days are I5. And all your donations are local or do people ship them to you? People ship them to us. Yeah. Vincent, you have another question. And by, by the way, before Vincent asks his question, uh, if somebody is donating a computer and it meets our specifications, if we will send a, a label uh, to ship it to us if, okay. you know. Um, so that... Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah. Vincent. Uh, y yes, uh, uh, my question actually was partially answered because it, it, the laptops come with uh, at least uh, three uh, USB ports. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I if I I have some old uh, 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 CDs uh, uh, with photographs and things like that, so it would uh, I would just have to uh, get a uh, a CD player to to uh, attach to the. Yeah, you you get an external CD drive or DVD drive that plays uh -huh. CDs as well. Uh, you can buy those and just plug it into the USB port on your on your laptop and use that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vincent. Um, Anicio, you have a question. Well, it's not a question. It's just a comment. You know, this for so many years, this organization has done such great work, and it's been like the best kept secret uh, mm -hmm. in the blindness field. I've 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 recommended many many clients take advantage of it. And I'm so glad to hear you both talk about it and and get the word out because it really is a a wonderful service for a lot of people. So oh, thank that. you for thank you for that. It's uh, it, it is you know when you're a really small nonprofit, you don't have millions of dollars uh, advertising budget, right? you know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, word of mouth and and these presentations, getting to present to folks like yourself, are the way we get our name out there and. And we've we've really grown in the last three or four years. Um, you know, I, I think we were selling, you know, something like a 10, 10 a month or 15 a month. And, you know, now we're selling way more than that. And uh, it's been good. We're getting the word out there. People are starting to know about us. So that's great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. And we developed the training class. That's something that the people much needed because we didn't want our computers to just be there when when people bought them. We wanted yeah. them to know how to use them and we wanted right. them to. So that was that's happened in the past couple of years. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm privileged to be a part of that. I mean, as an instructor and I get to watch students. Wow. I can send email. You've you've made right. me wild. Right. Now I can communicate with my family. I can, you know, have Zoom conferences now because I can meet with Zoom over class. I can now participate in other community sure. calls. That it I'm opens up a whole new world for people. Absolutely. Communication, communication. Absolutely. And thank you, Linda and Elsa, for bringing it together. Thank you. Oh, it's our pleasure. Yeah, so if I, you guys I, have anybody who wants to hear about us, please contact us. We are happy to. Yeah, we definitely will. I, I know I've been with this organization for almost 19 years. And as far back as I can remember, when it was Texas, um, Texas Computers for the Physically Disabled, we were referring people. 
to you way back. Suzanne, you probably remember. I have to bring somebody back that far with me. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, uh, Thank you for that. My first computer was from Texas. Oh, wow. Yeah, my very first. Yeah, and you have, yeah, you've really grown and um, it's a great, (laughs) we had a couple of people in our learning lab as well that we referred because it you have yep. to have a computer if you're going to learn how to to type yeah. and how to use well, you and, need to have and, something and, to practice right and today in today's world having a computer is almost as necessary as electric and water i mean you mm-hmm. can't even apply for jobs without a computer you can't oh, and, you know and the problem is that you have so many states still that in vr you know they they will not provide a computer until you have a job and obviously like you just right. said you need a computer yeah. to get you a you need job. a computer to find a job yeah exactly <laughs> so yeah we were really really busy during the pandemic because people needed the computers to take classes to communicate well, with their sure. families too and so we were super busy during that that year yeah. or those yeah. years everything magically went on to zoom and everybody mm-hmm. needed something absolutely yeah. And we hope the trend continues. We hope people, you know, continue to use those computers to to entertain, to educate. You know, I mean, yeah. there's nothing that you can't do but look up something on the internet, anything that you're interested in. Right. Do we have any other questions for Brian or Marcy? Brian, you started off the program saying you all, not you guys. So I presume <laughs> you're not in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm from Florida, and uh, okay. Marcy's from Texas. So okay, <laughs> you should have I known sp- since it wasn't you guys. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> thanks, thanks for the proper English. Oh. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> I'm all for proper English. Trust me. <laughs> I love presenting with Brian. I could just listen to him. I'm just like, okay, I'll just add my two cents whenever I can. But yeah. <laughs> we have a question from Isabella. Yay. All right. Go ahead, Isabella. It's not new. There you go. Hi. Yes, this is Isabella. And I had a question about um, computers. Like, if you ever get them, like, do they have, do they have, like, do you have to pay, like, pay a certain fee? Um, I, I'm not sure I understand your question fully. Could you? Like, once you get them, like, in the mail delivered to you. Then once you, once they're delivered, what's the question? Like, do you have to pay a certain fee, like a tax fee or a, no, or a delivery fee? No, no, no. So you pay for the computer. Are you in New Jersey, I'm assuming? No, I'm from Minnesota. Okay. Uh, so since you're not in Wisconsin or Texas, there's no sales tax and there's also no shipping and handling no matter where you are. Uh, okay. We ship everything free matter for the blind. So Awesome. Yeah, so whatever the price you pay us uh, for the computer is is all you pay. Uh, unless you live in Texas or Wisconsin, then you have to pay sales tax. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. We've got to do something about those two states. <laughs> well, well, the, the, the way the law works, if you have a, a business presence in a particular state, you have to collect sales tax. So... Mm. That's why we have to collect in Texas and uh, in Wisconsin. Oh, we, yeah. It's you guys. It's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we just yeah. don't like we don't like people from Wisconsin or Texas. So. <laughs> and there's no tax exemption for employees. I bought one with a 16 gig RAM and one terabyte solid state hard drive computer, and I had to pay tax too. That's right. We have another question, Aaron. 
Uh, what, what, what about what, what's gonna happen when, when those when, when those eleven is obsolete? When those ten is obsolete, what you guys what are you guys gonna do with what are you guys gonna do with do about that when Windows that, ten is obsolete? Yeah, that is a great yeah. question. It'll, it'll it'll be obsolete in twenty twenty five. I heard exactly. Yep. I heard the same thing. So computers yep. for the blind has until middle twenty twenty three or early twenty twenty four to do something with Microsoft and the Windows eleven licensing. So we will keep up. We promise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The, the the issue, uh, the, the reason we haven't switched right over is that there is a certain chip that's required in the computer in order for it to accommodate Windows 11. And since uh, our computers at this point don't have that chip, um, because remember, these are refurbished computers, so they've already been out in the world for a while. Um, and so that chip wasn't manufactured when these computers were manufactured. So now they're putting that chip in all the computers. And so when we start getting more donations over the next year or so, uh, they'll, we'll start getting more of those type of computers and we can start using Windows 11, so. So I, I made sure to point- you say, huh? Huh? Yes, 2025 yeah. is what Microsoft says, yeah. yes. That's what they said, but that's what they said about Windows uh, 7 too, but th they kept that going for like a decade after uh, the next version of Windows came out. So, but yeah, that's their official thing, 2025, so. We have any other questions? And and because Brian mentioned that 2025, when you guys purchase a computer from us, does it mean that that's the last computer you have to purchase? You just have to wait 365 days. So, for example, if you purchased a computer today, March 21, March 21, you would wait until after March 21 of 2024, and then you could purchase another computer. Okay. We don't put a limit on the on the number of computers that you purchase from us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing is, is the access software is your responsibility. If you want to keep that JAWS current or that Zoom text current, um, then you have to do that with Freedom Scientific because the, the free software comes only with the first purchase of the computer yeah. that you make from us. You could kind of transfer, right, though, if you get a no. new computer. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you can legally run up to three licenses of JAWS on your computers. But you could kind right. of renew. That's really what I mean to renew. say. Renew, yes. Renew, renew. Yeah. right, right. Andrew, you have a question. Here's an interesting one for you. What if you already have a uh, screen access license? Uh, that's fine. Just let us know that at the time of purchase, and we will, instead of choosing JAWS or Zoom Text or both, we'll choose Demo. And then when you get your computer, it will have JAWS or ZoomText demos on them, and you can activate using your license. Well, that's cool. I'll let my students yeah. know that. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. I would, of course, recommend having, you know, a recent version. You know, if they have an older version of JAWS, it's very possible it won't work on the computer. So, um, you know, it just depends on how old their, their JAWS license is. But. Right. people a moment to process all this information and then everybody yeah. will raise their hand. Uh, we're going to have hands shooting up all over the place. Right. <laughs> be a forest of hands. <laughs> Linda, will you be giving out the phone number? And We will send you all the information. Um, we did put computers for the blind in the chat, but we can email that as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll put all of the information um, the website, um, that is really what you deal with, correct? Just you could fill out online and we yeah. have we have other information for computers for the blind. Right. And, and, and we, in, we in customer service are happy to help you complete an application. Yeah. If a computer is not available or if you know, just okay. think it'd be easier, let me tell you my information, we can do that for you. No, no worries. Yeah, if, if it's if it's difficult for you to do online or whatever, just give us a call. We'll do it over the phone. Can you um, give me a phone number? That's good for your sure. server. Your, go ahead, and then I'll, I'll email it to everyone. 214-340-6328. All right. 
I will email that to everyone. Well, and, and the email that Marcy's going to send you, Elsa, it's going to have the price sheet attached, which has all the configurations and the accessory prices, all that. And the body of the email will have the steps that they need to go through that she went through. Um, you know, doing the application, which you can do online or by calling us, sending us your documentation, placing the order with the debit or credit card, and then we ship the computer. So, Perfect. Um, yeah. Great. Everything I'll went in one nice, neat package. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just to um, let everyone know, when we send it out, we will, we're going to hold sending out the information until the recording is ready to post on our YouTube channel. That way we don't send you two emails because some people don't like their inboxes flooded with too many emails. Uh, so we will send it all together with the link to this recording so you can listen to the presentation again to get uh, any details that we might have missed in our email to you. Excellent. Okay. And just also, for those of you who are not in Louisiana or Michigan or all of all of the other wonderful states that we <laughs> that we have our visitors from, um, if you are local to Vision Loss Alliance, which is in Denville, we do have many different types of programs for you to come live in person programs as well as virtual programs. So, if anyone would like some program information, please do not hesitate to contact us at Vision Loss Alliance. And we'll put that obviously in our email too, our phone number, so you can get some additional program information. And as one of the tech instructors here at Vision Loss, I just wanna say that we, we, um, we have a, a longer program than six weeks and um we get very detailed into each word and um the actual windows 10 and um well we do use outlook also and uh, even excel so we can work with you also just so everybody knows i mentioned that outlook does not come with the computer but you're not without mail uh, with our computers because Windows 10 has Windows Mail built into it mm -hmm. and Windows Mail is accessible. Uh, I don't know if you all train on that uh, mm -hmm. over there, but uh, but Windows Mail is, is, is a free option. Uh, of course, as Marcy mentioned, once you buy the computer, it's yours. If you want to buy Outlook and install it, that's totally up to you. Thank you. Yep. I hear a grandfather clock. Uh, I ticking. do. I hear a nice clock that's very soothing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, that's fine. <laughs> that's my. Yeah. I'm not. Do we moving. have any other questions? Well, Marcy and Brian, I really want to thank you, and thank you for for sharing all of that wonderful information with us. Absolutely. <laughs> Telling us, Absolutely. Uh, teaching us more about computers for the blind and we definitely have you as a resource um, that we do give out to all of our program people um, uh, yeah. and we hope it can continue for a long time. Yeah. Absolutely and, and as Marcy mentioned earlier if any of y'all are associated with other organizations or whatnot and you want us to come out and you know virtually and, and present uh, we're, we're happy to do that anytime. So as you can see, it, our, we're already closed and it's Marcy and I are here. So, you know, we've done them on Saturday. We've done them at night. We've done them during the work day. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And of course, if you know any other visually impaired people, uh, give them our number, you know, send them the email that, that you're going to get and have all the yeah, information please, in there. Everyone feel free to share that information. Yeah. Can I ask one JAWS question? Of course. Yeah, Suzanne. Um, I, I have um, downloads of um, documents and yeah. um, I used to be able to just hit F6 and enable editing. And now Microsoft added another read only thing and I can't edit those documents anymore unless I 
rename it into a Word document off the download? Is is there any easy way to do that? I'm not or sure. I, I'm not sure I understand exactly what you're saying. So you have Word documents. Were yes, they done? In, I, were Were they done so, in old? Go ahead. Um, we have a program that we use as teachers called Training Rare. And um, they have downloads of, you know, for the certain lessons that we have, right? Right. And there are different documents. So when you open the document in, in from the download, it is protected, you know, um, and you have to enable editing. But Microsoft has added another thing that says you can only read this and you can't edit. And the point of the documents is that we are trying to edit them to learn different practices. Right. right. So, um, there should be an, a menu option in Word where you can, I'm not, not really familiar, I've never done it, but I would say that I, I know that there is a an option in there to unprotect a protected file. So if it's, if it's a read-only protected file, you can go into the menu. I believe it's under settings. Um, uh, I remember seeing it once, but anyway, it's in, you, you, it's in Word options. So you do uh, Alt F and then T, that gets you into the Word options. Uh huh. And then there at, at the very bottom, or you could use first letter navigation, locate the Trust Center. Yeah, that's a Trust Center. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And then there you have a choice of unprotecting. Anything that comes in as a download, anything from Outlook, yeah. there's lots of check boxes that you can check. Okay, thank you. you no, know, but if I, it's an issue. If I can add one thing, I used to use in my agency the training trainingware. If it's the same thing I'm I'm thinking of, that's uh -huh. a highly proprietary um, teaching methodology, and I know he he puts a lot of. Um, um, constraints into who yeah, can, but these are downloads okay. that he wants you to work with. So are these are the practice documents, or yes, yeah. So don't okay. don't press enter when you hit trust center. Just tab, and then there's these. There's an option called trust center settings. It's uh -huh. a dialog button. Press space to open that button, and then you can unprotect the files of any type. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Any other uh, questions? Anybody have any thing that they need to know? I don't see any other questions. No All other right. questions, anyone? Okay. And Elsa, uh, I've I have emailed that information. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate and, it. And My just pleasure. so y'all, just so y'all know, uh, as Elsa said, this is recorded, so you all be able to listen to it all again with all the information. If you have any questions that weren't asked or you were listening to it and some other questions occur, you can either email or fax, or not fax. Well, I guess you could fax us, but you can email or call us. <laughs> I guess you could fax. We don't know if we'll answer them, but maybe. <laughs> email, it, email, it, email might cover it. Yeah, yeah. E we're, at, email we're at service at computersfortheblind.org. Yeah. So and service. we'll put your phone number in that email as well. When, yeah, that yeah. hits our customer sure service you will people. Also do. Miss uh, Marcy, I did. My bad. You know what you should do? We you open a video. We open the video. You should put links. In, you should put links in the, in the description, like like a lot, a lot of YouTubers do. They put links in the in the, in the description. I would take them to like certain, like certain websites. We'll put you right on that, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you could be our link person. <laughs> I really want to thank you for your time, Brian yeah, and Marcy. No problem. Absolutely. From computers for the blind. We really appreciate you being with us. We appreciate your time mm -hmm. and giving us all that great information. And as Brian reminded all of you that this will be on our YouTube channel and Vision VLANJ Tech Talks has a Facebook page as well. So if you'd like to join that and be a part of that, um, please do. And um, you can send me that link. Well. You guys can send me that link so I can join. Okay. And see what Absolutely. technical questions people ask to see if I can answer. <laughs> okay. We also have a lot of um, virtual programs, and some of them 
are very inspirational. We have artists and all our Arise speaker series and our VLA and J voices. So Brian and Marcy, if you ever want to join, we will send you our virtual programs. Excellent. Yeah, send them. We'll, We'd we'll love to them. have you. Yeah. Excellent. It's not all we'll, tech. <laughs> we'll, we'll share them with Stephen and Erica too. Uh, so, Please do. Yeah, they want to check it out. I thank you for your time and thank you for coming and joining us virtually. Absolutely. And everybody, I wish you all a great month and we'll see you next month on Tech Talks. Thank you for having us. All right. You'll you. have a great evening. Uh, thank you so much again. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Have a great evening. Bye, everyone. Good night. Stay well. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.